Hey, Scrappy Peeps! Susanna here today to share with you this layout that I created using the April Exclusive Kit and add-ons from Ellie's Studio. This is a um, different layout for me because I typically tend to scrap the good times, um, and this is the not-so-good times. Uh, the title of this layout is Perfectly Imperfect. This is a picture of me at uh, 519 in the morning, um, having gotten up because I couldn't sleep and had been awake pretty much all night. Um, and this is uh, the post-journal um, writing time as I reflected over Stuff that's going on in my life. Um, so unfortunately the beginning of the video cut out and so what I did was I took this month's digital cut files, I used the butterflies, and I put them um, asymmetrically in graduated sizes along the left hand side of that white piece of uh, cardstock and then I backed it with another piece of white cardstock. And then the borders on the left hand side are just strips from Noteworthy, um, the 12 by 12 pieces that I put along that left hand side there. So what I'm gluing down there is um, uh, a card from the Spring Bible Scripture tag. I cut it down to fit on top of that 4x6 card that is in the April kit. And then that label that I've just, the teal label uh, or mint label that I've just stuck down um, is actually from the pastel label journaling tags. And again, I fussy cut that to have the label. And then I'm using a coordinating um, sort of turquoise mint color to uh, just sort of finish off that border. I could have left it as it was, but it, it seemed a little bit stark and it needed that color contrast um, between the two there. So what I have here is I have um, another one of the cards with the butterfly on it that's from the April kit, the exclusive kit, and I'm going to use that as a cover to my journaling, and my journaling is going to go on um, the, the monthly tag that says on this day in February. So I know this is the April kit and you can get the April cards, um, but this picture happened to be taken in February, um, so that's why I used the February card there. Um, this is somewhat private journaling. Uh, I think in the close-ups you can end up reading some of it, um, but uh, I didn't want it to be exposed into the world. Um, I needed it somewhat hidden, um, and that's more for me emotionally at this point in time um, than it is really anything else. Uh, and I converted the photo to black and white because I really wanted the colors to stand out, um, and you didn't really need to see my splotchy face from crying. So that yellow label is uh, from the the April print and cut labels. Uh, those of you who know me know that I use those a lot. Um, they come in handy for all kinds of things, even scrapping outside of my LA Studio design team work. Uh, those puffy stickers there, you have got to get. If there's nothing else that you get from the April kit, and there's lots of things that you do need from the April kit, you definitely need these um, butterflies and flowers puffy stickers, and you probably need two of them. In fact, I think I might go back and buy myself um, a second sheet there. So I've used that and I um, have also put the flowers at the top um, on that card that has the, the Bible quote. And the Bible quote says, be still and know that I am God, Psalm 46, 10. Um, it just, it, it struck me um, as something that I needed to put with this photo because of the stillness of the morning um, and needing to still the thoughts in my brain uh, and so that's why I used that. So those number one, number two, those labels are uh, from the salvage strip on a noteworthy collection piece of pattern paper and I liked that they just added a splash of color um, and just to add a little bit more color to the page I'm just using some Heidi Shop Heidi Shine in um, that mint, turquoise mint, as well as um, the yellow, the colors that I've used for the layout. You know, a lot of the design team gals are really good at um, being able to use all the colors in the collections. That is not my specialty. I will leave that to the girls that can rock it, um, but I can't. Um, so I tend to choose two or three colors that work really, really well for me um, and pull those colors from a collection and that's what I tend to work with. Um, I, I find that 
For my eye, using all of the colors is really, really busy. I love them together and I love them in the kit, um, but I can't make them work on my layout. So it's either rainbow or um, a selection of colors for me. So then the other things that I put in additional in addition to those gray um, tags are the wood veneer butterflies. I absolutely love those. Um, all the butterflies in this collection just scream spring and uh, make me super happy. So I originally had that yellow tag off to the side, um, but I have put it in the center because I've decided that's where I'm going to nestle the title and it just kind of helps keep that maintain that column visual uh, look down the cent uh, right hand side of the page. Uh, these are this the um, what are they? These are the days of the week phrase stickers. I'm not using um, the days of the week. I'm actually using the phrases. So the one that I've got up the top there says today was hard and the um, one that I've just stuck down says um, one day at a time. So you can see where I've lowered that down because this is where I'm going to put the title. So I am using the um, these are the uh, typewriter keys puffy alphabet stickers and I'm going to pull off that uh, other sticker and stick it on my trimmer because I've decided that I know I want to put perfectly imperfectly no perfectly imperfect as my title sorry about that um, and I didn't want it to say perfectly imperfect one day at a time because that makes no sense uh, so I pulled the subtitle bit strip off and I'm using these typewriter keys puffy stickers to put perfectly. And then I'm going to use the um, the teal stickers, puffy stickers, uh, alphas, and I'm going to put in uh, imperfect. And that will complete the title. And that is going to go on top of um, that yellow label in there with that lovely puffy butterfly beside it. So you've got a little bit of whimsy on the left hand side um, and then you've got this sort of more graphic column down the right hand side but I find that the movement of the butterflies kind of creates um, some movement there. So that's where I pull off the one day at a time and stick it on the photo and then I am going to use and this is another thing that you definitely need to get from this uh, collection these are or this release this month is the shapes and dots puffy stickers um, so it's hearts and dots really are the shapes and oh stars as well I'm sorry I'm going to use the hearts and just put a sprinkling of hearts around the page. And I really like that looking at this video, um, but for some reason I rearrange it. Um, I don't know why, what, they both look fine. Um, but yes, so I am going to rearrange it. And in the process, I pulled the puffy off of the sticker. And so I'm going to have to use liquid adhesive to get that down. So that, my friends, is how I've used some of the teal and yellow goodies that are in the April Ellie Studio exclusive kit and add-ons. Please check the link down below if you're interested in purchasing any of these things. Enjoy the close-ups. Thanks for stopping in today. I hope you're doing well. Take care.